Hi, um, so in this video I'm gonna discuss a fear label that people use to instill fear in someone else um, so that they could feel powerful. Fear labels is what is often used by I'd say everyone, but um, I guess it begins with within childhood by your parents and your grandparents and your your family, your teachers. A fear label, for instance, within this video, I'll be discussing the fear label loser. Loser as a word is a label of fear that is often used by people to instill fear in someone else so that they could feel so that they can themselves can feel powerful and superior by making someone else feel inferior and I'm gonna use a comment that was placed on a video of mine um, the video was 2012 preparing for doomsday are you outraged and there is this user named sunny um, 02125 who had placed a comment and then I placed a reply to that comment which you can read on you know um, below the video and then he just sent me another comment when he said I didn't have time to read through your touchy-feely bullshit lady you should you really should redirect your energy to something useful to the society instead of blaming the elite bombing the world can you even give a definition who they are are you what a five-year-old do you even know what doomsday is? What a loser. Block me. I don't waste any more of my time with you. LMAO. So I removed this comment because he's just like in the first comment that he wrote, he's just trying to basically put me down. And that's what I replied to him. I said, if you are going to post another comment like this where and you just want to put me down so that you can feel like a winner, like superior or better than me in some way, then I'm gonna block you, which is what I did. So, but I'm not, I'm now just going to use this comment to, as a, a very nice example of someone who isn't interested in actually discussing anything. He's not interested in actually looking at the point that I shared within my video. He's only interested in basically reacting to me and he's looking for energy. He's looking for the energetic experience of superiority and being a winner within himself. And that's why he called me a loser and that's why he called me a five-year-old. And that's why he said that, you know, I wrote touchy-feely bullshit. And um, that's all just to put me in an inferior position, to make me feel small and fearful and inferior and make me feel like I'm worthless and stupid and I shouldn't exist, which is all there in his comment. And that's actually how parents and teachers often speak to their children. Um, because they're looking for that energy wherein they can feel powerful and superior and they can feel like the almighty all-powerful teacher mother father and um, so these are people who are actually abusive they are abusive because they are deliberately trying to instill a negative emotional experience within someone else for instance fear or the experience of in of um, worthlessness into someone else so that they can themselves can feel superior and like the winner and better than because superior and inferior always work within a polarity so for one person to feel like the winner, another person must feel like the loser. For instance, for the child or for the teacher or the parent to feel like superior, the child must feel inferior. So only when a child 
feels guilty or ashamed or inferior about something that they've done, the parent and the teacher are able to feel superior and to feel like they're God or something, judging the child. And so obviously this is just abuse and no matter what I'm going to say to this person, it's, you know, they're just not willing to listen. They're not willing to consider anything besides their personal desire for this high energetic experience of superiority within themselves wherein they just want me to react because that's what they're looking for. They want me to go and fight for my right and fight for my respect and they want me to feel powerless and then react so that they can again tell me shit like this so that they can again put me down and just let me know how unbelievably inferior and idiotic and stupid my comments are so that they can again feel like the big winner and that's why for instance I remove comments like this because it's no use they're not there to listen they're not there to discuss anything they're not there to look at within common sense at anything they're not there to learn or or expand themselves or their understanding of themselves or this world they're just there in their search for energy in their search for power and superiority over another wherein they will then talk down onto someone else and so what I realized is that I would normally react to comments like this just like how I reacted to when parents and teachers would put me down within statements like that like you're a loser or you don't know what you're doing or you know are you really that stupid etc I would obviously react with an experience of inferiority and anger and like how dare he and I'd want to just talk, say something back to prove to him that I'm not so inferior but I realized that within reacting within reacting like that to someone I'm actually just I'm actually taking it personally and I'm not realizing that this person is just like me. I mean, this person is equal to me, which means that they are just reacting to me because I am reminding them of who they are within themselves and I am representing a part of them that they're not willing to accept about themselves, uh, which is obviously touchy-feely bullshit or... Yeah. So... I just represent something to them in their world and then they react to me because they're not willing to take responsibility for how they have denied a part of themselves or suppressed a part of themselves or judged a part of themselves that they now see reflected in me. So rather than taking responsibility for themselves and their own reactions to me, within the realization that this reaction is only because I'm representing something about themselves that they're not willing to accept about themselves, they will fight me and then they'll react to me and they'll attack me which is completely abusive because I have nothing to do with those reactions I have nothing to do with this person's energetic experience within themselves their reaction to me that's all them and what they see within me I was just expressing myself in my video so there this is just an example of many 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 comments on YouTube that are placed by people every day that are equally or more abusive than this wherein people are unwilling to take responsibility for their personal reactions to someone else and then instead of taking that responsibility for themselves and just sorting themselves out so that they can stand and live and express themselves within respect of everybody else they will just go and attack that person that they reacted to without even ever realizing just how abusive this is it's like war 
war only exists because people aren't willing to take responsibility for the emotional reactions they have within themselves and then they would rather just go and blame someone else for how they feel instead of realizing that their reactions, it's all them, it's just what they have allowed to exist within themselves as all these expectations and desires etc. So if we don't get what we want, if our expectations aren't met by other people then instead of just realizing that we shouldn't have expected anything in the first place, we go and attack that person when that person really didn't have anything to do with us. So this is the entire bullshit with um, human relationships. It's what we are being taught by our environment to interact with other people in that way within not taking any form of responsibility for how we feel within ourselves and our personal reactions to someone else but rather go and blame someone else for how we feel within ourselves as if we are the victims of our environment when really it's all just us it's us and our thoughts feelings and emotions that you know wherein we actually exist alone within ourselves but we don't actually realize because we've abdicated our responsibility completely. So, so the word loser is a fear label that only people who want someone else to feel inferior so they can feel superior so people who are looking for the energetic experience within themselves of superiority which is basically like vampires looking for blood as energy trying to you know searching for someone else they, they can suck dry um, by putting that other person in the inferior position and making that person feel like a loser so that word loser is only used by those kind of people who are com completely abusive and who are just calling themselves a loser calling that part that of themselves that they see within me a loser so really doesn't have anything to do with me but that doesn't make it okay because this sort of stuff is just unacceptable and I mean you should YouTube should really do something about this like create some kind of function where people like this due to these kinds of abusive comments are completely banned from YouTube because it's just unacceptable. This kind of abuse is is really not okay and people should be confronted with themselves and people should be confronted with their own bullshit. But, you know, the only thing I can do now is remove the comment and block the user, but they can still go around doing this to other people as well. So, this isn't really a solution because this abuse is just going to keep going and it's not going to be stopped because YouTube obviously doesn't really care about true respect and YouTube doesn't apparently doesn't care about you know creating a nice environment for everyone because if they go around if they would start to ban people who are delib deliberately abusive in their comments towards others they're going to lose a lot of their clientele so, so um, yeah, if you, if you sh have similar experiences, if you come across comments like this, feel free to make a video about it and just reveal to YouTube and to everyone what is really going on within the YouTube community. because people like this should be exposed for the bullshit that they're spreading because it's not acceptable okay so thanks